my blessings are taking many years to come, Father. Did, don't I respect your word? I give, Lord. But what's going on? These people cry to God, shepherd, you leaders, you false blind leaders. These people do cry to God. And if you keep lying to them, that if they just keep giving you money, if they keep giving you this kind of money, the amounts of money, they're going to be blessed. Don't you think they watch once they keep giving you? And I'm saying you because you climb in from the other door. You don't preach the truth. You only preach to them, teach them or give them some words just to make them feel good you keep telling them about blessings 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 that they don't ever see God is saying and my people are getting tired I see how you are abusing my sheep why because you are the hired one you came in because of money I did not appoint you I did not send you you did not come through the door Christ Jesus you climbed in from behind oh I do not know you and the time is coming where I'm exposing you. I'm exposing you blind leaders. You who climb through the back door. God said, do you think you are in the kingdom? But you're not. Because you climbed in. You, you cheated your way in. And you are not really in. God is saying you are behind. You are, behind. You are outside looking in through the window. But you think you are already in the kingdom. You think you already arrived. Can you cheat? Can you pass? Do you know the watchman, Jesus, the door himself? He does not sleep or slumber. He He's up 24 hours that no thief can come in through the door and go get the ship from his hands because all of the ships are protected by the master. That's why he's the door. So no man can come through that door except by Jesus. And Jesus said in the book of um, John 6, 3 through 65, he said, no man, no man can come to the Father except through me. God said, go tell those blind leaders who they only know how to do bad, but doing good, they do not know how. They are blind leaders. They making themselves fat. They eating for my they they eating the milk for my sheep, but they are abandoning my sheep to, to be a prey to the predator. They telling them what I will hold them and I'm holding them accountable for my sheep because my sheep are scattering all around the world while they themselves feeding themselves, making themselves fat, buying houses, airplanes, and all the good stuff of the world. God said, Tell those blind leader why would the prophet a man if he gained the whole world but lose his soul at the end what would it profit you god said what you gonna do when you die where are you going when you die do you know that even your little breath is in my hands and i can take it away from you anytime but I'm giving you chance to repent you blind leader says the Lord I'm giving you chance to repent you can choose to come through the door and if i did not call you you standing on my altar lying that i sent you when i did not send you when i come for you i will expose you and the whole world will know that i did not appoint you that i did not call you that i did not send you and that i did not choose you to proclaim my word because you climbed in the door because you did not want to be shaped and you want to stay fat just the way you are with sin and you climb in through behind the door that's why when the when the wolf is coming in the church which is the devil you can't even pray my people through you can't even you can't even lay hands and, 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 and heal something that's little as a headache. So my people are going all around the town looking for a pastor who can pray for them. Looking for, for, for somebody who can pray for them and be healed. But they have a so-called shepherd and some of my people, they really are babies in Christ. They, don't, they can't see in the spirit. They're not being able to discern that you are one of those thieves. The hired one who came in only for wages, who came in only for money, but don't have the love of the sheep at all. Hallelujah. God says your time is now. Go and expose.
calls these people my prophet. He said, uh, he put the, 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 the thing on me. Go cry to me as a woman in the birth pain. You see, I'm a woman. I'm a mother and I'm a prophet. I know how much the baby, the pregnancy hurt when you're about to give birth. So God put that weight in me. I can feel the pain. I can feel the birth pain. When the Lord said, go cry for me as a woman in the birth pain because these people are just taking granted of my people. This so-called leader, this so-called pastor that I did not call, that are sucking the milk of my sheep. My people are working two, three, four jobs and giving it to them and, and, and they're lying to them that they're sowing. But when my people are going through themselves, they can't even help my people. They're building houses. They, they're buying airplanes. And I'm not talking about those who are buying airplanes plan that the Lord is leading to do so. I'm talking about, you know, do you you leaders who have airplane or houses who are who came through the door, that's your blessing. Enjoy it. But I'm talking about those false ones. God is talking about those false ones that came in, that climbed in from behind the door. Those are the ones, the hired one. Those are the ones that God is exposing. Amen? Because we know there are good prophet, uh, prophet pastors out there, apostles out there, like, out there, like myself. I can say that because I came through the door. Christ Jesus. So I was mowed, shaped, and pruned so I can fit through the door. So God called me himself, appointed me as a prophet to the nations. But there are so-called false out there that give the good one bad name. You all leader know what I'm talking about. There are those that uses our name to come in, try to proclaim themselves to be right when they are really false. And those are the ones the Lord is, is exposing. Amen. And God says, so sometimes they, they are at the altar. He said, my glory already departed from your so-called church because you have turned my house into the den of thieves. You call it a, a church, but my church should be a house of prayer for all nations. What kind of prayer are you praying in there? Because I don't hear you. I don't listen to you. See, you already made your way, but you don't have a heaven to put my people into. You looking at, you looking at the, the money that you, you, you stealing from my people, and you telling my people that you being blessed, which is which your blessing did not come from me. Do you know that the devil can bless too? Yes, the devil can bless people too. You know, he has things. Remember in the book of, um, I believe it's in the book of Mark, you know, when the, the devil took Jesus out, out on the mountain and said, if, if you fell down and, and worship me, I will give you all this wealth of the kingdom of the, or, the world. God said many leaders are worshiping the devil. They have fallen down and bowing to the devil. And the devil is blessing them. Because when, when you really lie to God's people so they can bring money to you, are you really of God? Or you, you're going to call that a blessing? That's not a blessing. You stealing, you lying, you manipulating my people so you can make money. But God say you already sold your own soul. Let me see where you're going at the end. Hallelujah. And so God say even when they bring the, the so-called offering to my altar, I do not hear it because I despise your feast. I will not smell a savior or take delight in your solemn assembly. God is saying, and through your own and, and though you offer me your burnt offering and your cereal offering, I will not accept them. Neither will I look upon them. Because you are bringing it from stealing from my people. You are not a shepherd. I did not appoint you. I did not choose you. God said, ask them. Ever since they they claim they came to, 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 uh, to the kingdom of God. Ever since they said they, they came to Jesus. Ask them, what did the cross cost them? The cross that they are uh, proclaiming to my people that they carry. What did their cross cost them? Did the cross cost them their life? What did they benefit from carrying my cost? Did they benefit... Holiness and righteousness? Are they walking in holiness and righteousness? 
God say he knows what to do behind the closed doors. And you cannot keep lying to his people anymore, you so-called leaders. He knows what you're doing. And your time is at hand. Oh, he already started exposing some of you all. And he will keep exposing you all. I remember uh, uh, five years ago when the Lord gave me the message about these priests, these Catholic priests of the things that they were doing in the churches about the fornication about molesting young men and women and i was on the radio preaching that these catholic priests god said he's gonna expose your your nakedness he's gonna lift up your robe i did not really understand what the lord was talking about until the whole news came out you all know about the catholic news these priests what they were doing to the young man in the church and so i was on the radio for the whole full week that's the same time i was prophesying about the economy that was going down and and god gave me the message about these priests what they were doing in the church these catholic priests how they were sleeping with young men and that god was tired he was going to expose them but they did not take the warning they kept doing it they kept doing the filthiness and going at god's altar thinking they can they can they can uh, fool God and the time came when the word of God that have gone out of mouth uh, out of the mouth of God the time came when the word could not be uh, 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 voided the word came to manifestation and you all heard young men coming out you know uh, talking about what these priests was doing to them how they were molesting them and and you know what the catholic churches paid a big price today the catholic church is not the same anymore because when god exposed these priests nakedness when he lift up their robes like he told me to go and prophesy everybody knew that they were really just fake that they were doing these things behind the closed door but do you know that there's no there is no secret when it comes to god god can see you in the darkness god can see you when you're in the light and god warns you if you don't stop doing this i will expose your nakedness and that's the same message god is sending me with this with this um so-called leader that have come in from behind the door now again i'm gonna ask you which way did you come in or which door did you come in did you come through the only door christ jesus or did you climb in from behind if you climb in from behind god is saying you are fooling yourself that's why you are only a blind leading other blind if you climb in from behind you are really still outside looking in the kingdom through the door why because you have not come through the right door the only way the only life resurrection jesus christ and so you can be lying to yourself that you are already in but you still out you blind leader the lord is saying god said in jeremiah 4 22 he says these people, they know how to do bad. They are skillful doing bad. These so-called uh, leaders that are climbing from behind. They are skillful doing bad. But doing good, they do not know how. God says that their chastisement will continue until it has accomplished his chastisement will continue until it has accomplished its purpose for my people are stupid the bible saying i'm reading for the amplified amplified my people are stupid says the lord replying to jeremiah they do not know or understand me they are skillful thick-headed children they have no understanding they are wise to do evil but to do good, they have no knowledge. No, they do not know how to do good. But sense of God, that's just, all you need to do is turn it around and do good. God said, if you do good, won't you be accepted too? Like he told uh, Ken in Genesis 6. But if you don't do good, 
Sins lies at the door of your heart and a desire is to consume you. 